Okay, we got a missing cow. We got cow, cow, luscious Larry is missing, as you can read. He went missing today, he got out of his new pasture at the end of Avalau. He's very tame, he's a family pet. And if you see him, please call this phone number right here. There you go. And here we have Auntie Beth. Cow, cow, luscious Larry is very tame. He's lived across from me for two years now in this field, and the farmer wanted to get rid of him and sell him for slaughter. So I'm asking for donations to help me find him. I transferred him to my dear friend's trailer and cowgirl and cowboy, but I didn't inspect the new Yay! pasture, and he was in a horse pasture, which is not not sturdy enough for a cow. So it was electronic fence. He busted through the electronic fence. We've tracked him down. We found three cow patties down the road, down the house, down the street. And then from there, he's back at the end of Avalau. Hopefully, we put some sweet feed, some tea leaves. He loves tea leaves. And tomorrow we're gonna get some salt licks. Put him near the pasture. And I have a different pasture to put him in once we do capture and locate Cow Cow. But for right now, he's free range somewhere in a forest. Today I had two volunteers, Shelby and Bonnie. They were super helpful, keeping the vibe high, looking down tracks, trails, calling out for his name. There's gonna be a lot more volunteers till we found him. Avalau area is the end of Haiku down past Hanzawa's store. It happens to be the exact same forest that Amanda Eller was <laughs> missing in. But, hopefully. Cow Cow is in a secluded part of that forest. But even if you find Cow Cow, so where is he going to go? To a new pasture that's made for cattle. Okay. And with so... a very specific type of fence. I don't remember what it's called. The farmer who had the horses told me the kind of fence. And then, yeah, the mm -hmm. ranchers, Wolford Rancher, he's um, generously offered his land for the cow. And he's on the lookout. He's been alerted. Joe lives on Avalau. He's been alerted. Kelvin and Catherine who helped me move the trailer of the cow, they know and they're looking out for him. Put some fires up at Hounsala's store and on Avalau. He's very tame. He's not meant for cattle life. He's a family pet. He eats flowers, <laughs> tea leaf, <laughs> banana leaf. He likes. So um, if, if he does show up and you've raised money, what would you do with the money? If the there's money, money left over, yeah. The money will be for his health. He's going to need some the spray that keeps the flies off of him and some food and, you know, future vet bills if needed. What about some toys? Um, definitely. <laughs> forgot about that. He's going to have definitely have toys. So he's going to get all kinds of soccer balls, plastic balls, things to play with for sure. And when I you know, eventually have my own pasture, we're going to start a soccer team. <laughs> so in conclusion, I thank you for listening and helping and trying to find Cow Cow. He's a very gentle creature. He'll not be slaughtered. We're going to save him from slaughter. And, um, you know, since I've befriended him, I've become vegetarian again. I just adore this cow, he's so sweet and so good. Where was he found? He was found in a gulch with his brother. The farmer rescued him when he was very small. Um, but about a year ago, he sold his brother, baby brother, for slaughter. <laughs> and so for months after that, Cow Cow was wailing and crying and wailing. And I just, you know, struck me to my heart to just know that he really missed his brother. And he literally would cry at night, at night, all through the night, for months at a time. Yummy! He lives across the street from me in the field, but they want to get open up that field for more uh, goats because they're easier to care for, I guess, and don't eat as much. And so they wanted to sell him for slaughter. And they had listed him on Craigslist, and when I found out, I gathered up what I could, and this 
this money will go to save him. <laughs> yeah, just if you see him or hear about him, please call 808-283-6333 or give me a text. Help save Coco. Luscious Larry. Yummy!